Today's video is brought to you by Patreon show supporter CT Sounds. You can check them out at ctsounds.com. It's your boy Hi5 Vega back again. This time we're going to learn how to series and parallel subwoofers. So we're just going to jump straight into it. For those of you that know this content, maybe it'll just be a refresher. And for those of you that don't know, uh, maybe you'll learn something today. So we're going to start with two single voice coil subwoofers. So you can see I'm resting right around 3.7 on each one of them, which is fine. You're not always at right at four ohms, so, uh, and they're both exactly the same. So we're good there. Okay, now let's start with the simplest method, which is parallel. And I don't know if you guys can make it out, but this side is positive, this side is negative. Same over here. Obviously, we're not going to solder right now because we're just trying to do this for demonstration and, and I'm using a thin wire. So you've seen we were 3.7 ohms. We should cut this in half once we parallel these. Now I'm going positive to positive on this side. And then I will also go negative to negative on this side. And this is what you call parallel. Now that I've got that hooked up, we will test and see if we effectively halved our impedance. Okay, we were are right at half. We're a little over two ohms, 2.1 ohms. When you're gonna parallel these, you would simply jump one to the other and then run straight off of that. Now we wanna series these subwoofers. So we have 3.7 ohms we've already measured before. What we will do is we will go negative to positive on this subwoofer and then we will have a negative and a positive out to the amp or in this case the multimeter so we can measure it negative this should give us double where instead of dividing we are multiplying our impedance okay so we're right at 6.7 ohms. Now that's series. Now if we were going to series and parallel say four of these, the way we would do that is we would jump negative to positive on each single voice coil subwoofer. Then we have one positive, one negative left. Those would then go to another pair that we had already jumped negative to positive and then they would hook up correctly so you would go positive to the open positive on the other subwoofer, negative to the open negative on the, sub the other subwoofer, and then you would take that directly to your amp. So that would give you a impedance of around four ohms using four ohm subwoofers. Okay, now we're gonna talk about dual voice school subwoofers. We're gonna use the same knowledge that we already have only you have two voice coils in a single driver. This one happens to be a dual two ohm voice coil. So we'll start off with the parallel method. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go one positive to the other positive, and then one negative to the other negative. And this should give us an impedance of around one ohm, but always remember your voice coils are not always exactly what they're rated to be. They float a little bit, specifically when you got them in a box. So let's check our impedance now. You see we're about 1.7. So that's the parallel method. When you do this, you're gonna do it just like this, positive to positive, negative to negative. And then you will simply go have another set of wires coming out to your amplifier, hooking it up to the positive and negative correctly. Now we're going to series this driver, which will give us a four ohm load roundabout, depending on your voice coil. So the way we're gonna do that is just like we did the other one. I'm gonna go positive to negative and that should give us somewhere in the range of four ohms. Let's test it here. All right, we're at 4.6 ohms. 
Okay, now we're bringing another DVC two ohm voice coil subwoofer into the mix. This is what most people want to know. How do you series each subwoofer and then parallel them together? Just like before, series is one positive to one negative. And then we do the same thing on this subwoofer. So we're gonna have them both series up before we, we parallel them together. Now, we will take one negative from this subwoofer and we will go to the positive on this one as well. And then we will go straight to this other subwoofer now, since we are paralleling, we will use the negative on the negative terminal and the positive on the positive terminal. And this is the part that you would come out to your amplifier. So we bridged, we paralleled from here to here, and then we would take this positive and this negative, and we would go to the amplifier. So. When I measure those, we should be somewhere in the two ohm range. It's, keep in mind, it's always gonna be a little bit different. Move this so you can see it a little bit better. So we're about 2.7 ohms. I hope this helped clear up any confusion you might've had about how to series and parallel drivers. The most common issue that I see is people having trouble series and paralleling dual voice cool drivers in multiples. So I hope this covered that. And just remember that whenever you series driver, you are doubling the impedance. And when you parallel, you are cutting in half. So in the case of series in parallel, you are essentially making in this one, dual two ohm voice cools, a single four ohm load. And then we could again, series these up and we could go up to eight ohms. But instead, when you series slash parallel, we're going one forum load parallel to another forum load because we've already series these to get a final two ohm impedance or roundabout. Because like I said, box rise, the voice coils are not static. For those of you that learn like me, I went ahead and drew up some diagrams so you can see it on paper. Go ahead and feel free to pause the video and check it out. You should also check out the podcast I do with my great buddy, Derek from Williston Audio. It's called 12V Talk. We are live on YouTube every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, youtube.com slash 12V Talk. We're also available as an audio-only podcast on virtually every feed, so check us out. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout-out goes to my $6 or more contributors, Brent Ballard, Paul Smith, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Ron, JL White, Rick Quadabom, and CT Sounds. For as little as $2 a month, you can get on the team and get access to Patreon-exclusive content not available on YouTube.